All right, we are doing another deep dive. You guys really love the video where I dove into how to figure out what items are selling based on just simply doing research on eBay. That video has taken off, and if you haven't already watched that video that is titled Stop Watching Thrift Hauls, Do This Instead, I will link it up here on the screen and also down below in the description box. But basically that video is about how to use eBay's data in their available and their sold listings in order to figure out what you should be buying at thrift stores if you wanna flip stuff online for a profit. In that video, we did a deep dive into women's pants and I thought it would be appropriate to balance the scales a little bit and do something in the men's department. And so for today's video, we are going to do one on men's belts. Belts is an accessories category that I think a lot of resellers skip on, but I definitely wouldn't because they are very easy to store. They are often really cheap at thrift stores and they're just a category that a lot of people skip on. So there are some gems out there. I have sole belts for over a hundred dollars and they take up far less space than some of the other things in my store that sell for a hundred dollars. I personally think it's a lot easier to find bolos and belts again, because nobody's looking at them. So we're going to dive into this category together and see what belts are selling right now. Men's belt. And we are filtered in the category. So I'm going to leave that there. I don't want like car parts or anything coming up. So I'm going to actually, I was going to make sure that the category was drilled down. Um, since we've got that, we'll go ahead and start doing our filters. So you guys should remember from that initial video, what filters we need, but we are going to do pre-owned and let's see let's go ahead and go to the solds so we're pre-owned we're in the solds um i am going to also filter by being in the us only you can obviously do things differently if you would like and then lastly let's change let's go ahead and change to our pricing um, I'm kind of going to do the same thing where I'm going to say $35 or more and submit price range. So here's all of our filters. So we are in the solds, US only. That is simply just to eliminate what's happening um, as far as international sales go. If you're in Canada or another country, you might want to filter differently. But for most of my viewers, I know most of you are in the US, so I'm going to filter to US only. And then pre-owned, because most of the time if we're shopping at thrift stores, we are going to find things pre-owned and then over $35, but feel free to do whatever you want. Um, something else you could do that we didn't really talk about is to filter to buy it now to exclude bids. Um, sometimes auctions can be deceiving because sometimes people can bid things up, but then they never actually pay for them, um, which is why it's important that if you find something you know, while you're on this screen that you also do a little bit of research afterwards, um, which is why I tend to open up several tabs. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up an eBay tab. And then if we need to, we'll open up uh, different ones based on whatever we're looking up. Okay, so let's start. I see a Barney's New York crocodile alligator belt. I already know um, that exotic leather belts are pretty good, but if you didn't know that, you could start looking some of those up. And we're just going to scroll and look for similarities. Here's another alligator belt, so that already tells me probably alligator is a good one to look for. We've got Alan Edmonds dress belt. This went for, um, we don't know because it's a best offer accepted. So also something to be cautious of is if you see a, a mark through something, that means an offer was accepted. So let's say I want to look this up. So um, Allen Edmonds, we'll just do Allen Edmonds leather belt. And we'll get an idea of what they're going for. So 207 results for for any category that is less than 500, in my opinion, that is a good sign. It's when you start having thousands of results that you know that it's probably oversaturated or you did not filter down enough and include enough factors. Um, so 207, that's a good sign. I am going to go to pre-owned. Uh, 
and sold. So 178 available pre-owned. 372 sold. So that's like a 200% sell through rate. That is awesome. Um, so now I know that even though this has a slash through it, it's still going to be a good one to look for. So Allen Edmonds, this used to be a good shoe brand to find. I don't think they do as well anymore. Um, but now I know I'm going to be on the lookout for Allen Edmonds belts. And I'm not going to do a lot of clicking into things um, just for simplicity of this video. But again, feel free to click in and kind of study the brand. Um, here's one that went for a lot, I would guess, because of the color. Um, different kinds of leather can make a difference. This one has like calfskin leather. So some of the leathers are a little bit more supple than the other ones. Manistee looks like it's a popular one. Very, very interesting. Okay, so committing that one to memory, Allen Edmonds men's belts. Let's move on here. Um, this is another one that I know is um, a designer brand. Salvatore Ferragamo used to be very sought after. This one is an auction. You can see it was bid. So let's look this up and see if it is worth getting or if it's not. Salvatore Ferragamo, and we are doing men's today. And let me click out of sold real quick. Okay, so pre owned 440. So far, looking pretty good. And we're going to go to the solds. 587. So that is over 100% sell through rate um, within 90 days. So now we know we are going to be looking for Salvatore Ferragamo belts. And they look like the most popular style is pretty identifiable um, based on the buckle, a clasp, whatever you want to call it. So should be pretty easy to spot. Um, and there are enough available that tells me you could come across it. Um, here's one that is not that fancy buckle and it, it sold for quite a bit. So keep your eye out for this brand. Okay, moving on. Um, vintage leather nautical fly. You can see there's some like needlepoint embroidery there. That is, um, that is a factor that I have noticed as well in belts. There's some more Allen Edmonds. MCM, this brand, you guys, <laughs> who was it? I think it might've been Rebecca Allison. I can't remember. I think it was, somebody was talking about this brand and something I just watched. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure that I have been passing on this brand like a lot. So I think I thought it was just like a fake luxury brand. To me, they look fake. Um, and I'm sure that they do make fakes for them. Let's just pray that the ones I passed on were fake. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure I've passed on this brand quite a bit, but MCM, let's look up MCM belts. I'm pretty sure this is a designer. So Pretty much any designer belt's probably going to do well. So let's see here, 198, but we're going to go to pre-owned. So 81, sorry, 68 results. And go to sold. Yeah, almost a 200% sell through rate. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. These ones also seem pretty um, identifiable with the buckle, um, but not necessarily always have to have that. I would very much be careful about fakes in this brand, um, but definitely a, a brand you want to look for. Don't do what I did where you um, just pass over it. All right, next up is a Smathers and Branson belt. I just did a what sold video that had one of these in it. This is a Grateful Dead one. We just talked about needlework. Here's another one, or sorry, needle point, um, but Smathers and Branson belts in general are really good. We obviously know that Gucci's good. I'm, I'm going to pass that one. And Hermes, that's a designer brand. Um, but let's go to Smathers and Branson. I've already done the research on this, but do it for the camera. Uh, 
Okay, we are gonna filter to pre-owned, 282, that is a pretty good sign. Look, I mean, if you came across this, it should catch your eye, so it should be pretty easy to find. So 233 um, available and pre-owned, 494, that is over a 200% sell-through rate. So we definitely know that there is um, a lot of value in these, and you can see it's a lot of needlepoint. Some of them going for quite a bit. So if you were to see anything needlepoint, I would just see if it is Mathers and Branson. And if so, I would get it and then make sure that you look up what's actually on the needle point because it does seem like it makes a big difference as to what it's going to sell for. You know, are there fish on it? Are there golf clubs? Are there flags? That could make a big, a big, big difference. All right, moving on. We already know that Gucci and Hermes is definitely good, even when it has a lot of wear. There's another Allen Edmonds, an off-white belt. That's interesting. That's kind of another designer, but let's just see. Just curious. Okay, we're going to go to pre-owned 115, sorry, 113. I don't know why the numbers are off. I'm guessing there must be like a quantity in here. So 113 results sold 76. Not surprising. So actually not a 100% sell through rate, but depending on which one you have might still be worth getting. This one looks like a seat belt in my opinion, but those seem to be the ones that are doing well. All right, committed to memory. Let's move on. Gucci, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. We obviously know so there's another Salvatore Ferragamo, Gucci. I don't know this brand, so let's look this up. Ares? Ares gear. I guess I should type in gear. Hmm. Interesting. Just trying to understand what this brand is about because I'm not familiar with it. Okay, so this is what the brand is going to look like. Looks like it's on the back of a buckle. Although I don't know why I'm showing you this because we haven't even checked sell through rate yet. Let's look it up. Okay, so there's eight completed and 10 available. So that, that's a pretty good sell through rate. Well, if I see any kind of tactical gear looking belts, I'm definitely gonna check the back of the buckle now. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good. Definitely not one that I knew about. Moving on, Tom Ford's luxury white knuckler. Not familiar with that. doing wrong okay that one's just a one-off we are going to move on to me I know that that can be a good brand sometimes here's by the way both some that are just vintage and based on style that did pretty well you can see that they're very unique okay Last search and then we're gonna move on and end the video. So 58, but we gotta go to pre-owned. We've got 38 available. 28 sold, that's not a 100% sell through rate, but it is not bad. So to me might be a brand worth looking into. You can see I need to filter again to US only um, so that these don't show up. 
All right, one last glance, but I think those are some pretty good ones to look for. I do know that Polo Ralph Lauren belts can do well sometimes. Um, we have only scrolled just like not even a day's worth back. So there's definitely a lot you can look for. Trafalgar is another one I'd be on the lookout for. Um, but you could go really, really far in this and page after page and see what all has sold. Here's a John Varvatos belt. Um, but the important thing to do is to know what you're looking at and then to additionally open up a new tab and do the research because just because you see one that sold for a certain amount doesn't mean it has a good sell through rate at all. Lucchese would probably be good. Um, and you want to make sure, here's another John Varvatos, you want to make sure that you're committing things to memory that are actually, here's that brand again, actually going to sell regularly, not just one that had a random one-off. Um, but that is a very small deep dive into belts. And as you can see, there are very few brands that sell for um, more than $35. I would say in total, maybe 15 or less. So if you committed those 15 to memory, um, then whenever you looked at the belt section, you would just glance over and go, okay, are any of these 15 brands here? And if they are not, you can move on. Like it makes it super easy to blow through a section if you know exactly what you're looking for. If you can limit yourself to, you know, these are the brands that work. These are the brands that don't. Makes it super easy to go through things. All right, guys. So that's it for the belts category video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you guys learned some new bolo belt brands. That is a tongue twister. And if you're not already shopping in the belt section, I do think that it is a skipped category um, where a lot of bolos are hanging out. So give it a chance next time you're at the thrift store. It is a small section, so you can quickly go through it and hopefully find some good products. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out. If you guys like this content, I will continue making this into a series where we deep dive categories and figure out what the bolos are. But that is it for now. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.